Hello and welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase here on Cable 12. I'm Bob Parcell. And I'm Steve Furrow. Thank you very much for watching our first show of the summer, Steve. Woo! -hoo. Looks like summer's here in full force. It is hot, Bob. It yep. is smoking hot. Yeah. And from what Jamie's telling us, I think it's going to stay that way for a little while. So, like, like with three months at least. Well, Jamie didn't go out quite that far, but uh, he did kind of suggest that at least the next seven days was going to be warm. Mm -hmm. So we shall see uh, what the future holds on that front. Um, but we certainly appreciate you all joining us today. We would love to visit with you if you're interested in buying or selling property. Stop by our office. We're located at 195 South Main Street. Stop by and we'll be glad to visit with you about that. Uh, office hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And if that doesn't work, well, Bob, we'll just come out to them, won't we? We'll meet them. Yes, sir. We'll come out to you uh, wherever it's convenient. And we'll sit down and we'll talk about uh, your buying interests or if you're interested in selling your home and having it showcased here on the Mountain Lake Realty Showcase, we can certainly do that as well, have that, have that conversation. You see the phone number on your screen? Reach out and give us a call. We'll be glad to talk with you. As Bob, you said it is uh, summer. What about the real estate market? You know, generally speaking, people are on vacation summertime. Um, would you say that uh, summer is a slow time for real estate? What would you say? Do you well, usually around when school is out, people are really planning for vacations. It slows down a little. It used to be years ago. It was like that during the uh, holiday season, December and January. But it seems like now it's a little more steady even during those periods of time. So it's still pretty low inventory. Things are staying on the market. The days on the market are certainly extending. But um, still, I think, a very good time for a seller. I think it's, um, we'll be glad to meet someone at your property, whether it's a piece of land or a home, to try to make that best first impression and maybe give you some opinions on things to do or not do to get it uh, that best first impression. You bet. You bet. And talking about seller, you and I visited a little bit about this before the show. Um, we talked a little bit about insurance mm -hmm. and maybe some of the, the how that business is changing and some of the challenges that it might be leading towards here in the, the purchase or the process of purchasing a home. You want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. It sounds like the um, insurance industry is being hit pretty hard with a lot of wind damage, floods, roof damage. Um, so as a buyer, um, just don't assume insurance is going to be a very easy thing to obtain. Sometimes if a roof is older, they're reluctant to provide insurance on that. I think one of the biggest mistakes is assuming you can just cancel your policy and jump to another company and get a better rate. You may or may not be able to do that. Insurance companies certainly share underwriting information. So, yeah. And also, if you have a mortgage, be extremely careful with um, canceling your current policy when you get the new one. Communicate very well with your lender because if they find a lapse in coverage, Frequently, they're going to put on an extremely expensive policy, so the structure's covered, and you're going to pay quite a bit. Or um, you can get a, you get a lot of trouble if you drop coverage. Certainly. So I think whether you agree with it or not, insurance companies are getting hit pretty hard. Premiums are going way up. I think you and I, Steve, were talking. Some people who don't have a mortgage are considering dropping coverage, which is very, very risky. From obviously, I guess the point is when you're buying a house or if you already have a home in place, be very careful when you're thinking about going from one policy to the other. Um, speak with the insurance agent, some things you can do maybe to maybe increase your deductible or do some things that might lower your premium, but it, that industry is being hit pretty hard. Yeah, certainly. So some, some things to consider, and as we've talked about, uh, we'll sit down with you. If you're interested in buying, we'll, we'll walk you through not only talk about insurance, but we'll talk about a lot of other things that go on along with that process, and that's uh, mm -hmm. some of the advantages that we have here at Mountain to Lake Realty. Well, Bob, let's talk about some properties. What do you think? Good idea. We'll jump into some houses. Let's do it. All right. Well, the first one up, I do believe, is Londonberry Court. That's in Roanoke, Virginia. This is a townhouse. It is in the Stonehenge subdivision. It's two bedrooms, two and a half baths. It does have a full walkout basement. We're looking at a total of 1,862 square feet. 
1,862 square feet. We'll take a chance here, we'll step inside, give you a chance to see the kitchen. This home, uh, the entry level features a kitchen, open dining room, living room area, you can see here, half bathroom and a large sliding door that comes out to the back deck there. That's all on the entry level. Some of the updates that we could talk about here are luxury vinyl flooring, carpet, new, new light fixtures, new trim and baseboards. We've got a new back deck, got some new insulation. So a lot of things here when thinking about paint, a lot of things here to talk about that have been updated that to make this home move in ready. This would be Londonbury Court in Roanoke. Of course, I mentioned that is in the Stonehenge subdivision. And when you think about location in Roanoke, I mean, uh, Londonbury Court is uh, off of Londonbury Lane, which is right off of Chaparral, which could be, you can access Chaparral there off of Franklin Road. But a, a really nice location here in Roanoke. Uh, you can see some of these updates. Uh, this home is move in ready. Uh, if you're looking for a townhome in Roanoke, a great location here. This is uh, South Roanoke County. You get a chance to see the back side. There's that deck. Of course, you got a nice patio underneath. But this is Londonbury Court in Roanoke. Next, we'll travel to Pinhook, the east end of our county, working right down towards Smith Mountain Lake. This is going to be off Novelty Road. Again, that's the Pinhook address. Very private setting for this all brick ranch with 1,680 square feet. Attached garage and full unfinished basement. You step inside the entry level where you're going to find four bedrooms and two full baths, all on the entry level in secluded location. There's the attached one car garage. Some updates include the roof was replaced in 2022, HVAC around 2017. Features laminate and ceramic tile flooring. So again, you have a four bedroom, two bath home with just under three acres. Lots of potential here for this full unfinished basement. It's walk out, leave it the way it is, or certainly finish some additional square footage there. As you can see in this picture, three windows, let some light in if you were to finish it. Uh, the lower level, again, all brick, walk out basement. Give you the back of the home showing that heat pump. Again, this is Novelty Road as a pinhook address from Cable 12. Go down 40 East, take a right on Novelty, and you'll find this at 1200 Novelty Road. All right, we're going to stay in pinhook, and this is Pin, or excuse me, Turkey Cock Lane. Uh, three bedrooms, four and a half baths. There's a single car garage underneath. We'll show you in a minute, but. Uh, when you think about a captivating home with some unbelievable views, you've certainly got, uh, got that here. 2,887 total square feet here with this home. This home was on the market just, just a couple of days before it went under contract, but uh, you'll get a chance to see a little bit of what made it so desirable, but uh, you've got to appreciate an, a lovely front porch like this, wraparound deal, give you a chance to take in some of these great views there in Pinhook. We'll come on out. So it's 53.89 acres here with this property. It does have two stall horse barn, uh, as well as uh, uh, some pasture, a well for some waterers, so it's ready for your livestock there if you're interested. We we'll step inside and you get a chance to see this uh, just truly one of a kind home. Hardwood floors uh, throughout. You've got, uh, again, talked about some of those great views. Uh, you can see some of that here as we move around. This home, like as I mentioned, was on the market just, uh, just a few days before it went under contract. But, uh, this would be Turkey Cock Lane in Pinhook. Uh, that would be off the Snow Creek Road there uh, in, in Franklin County. Next we have Sunrise Road here. We're going to come back to Rocky Mount. Uh, this Sunrise, if you're not familiar from Rocky Mount, uh, there at the intersection, we'll just say downtown or uptown Rocky Mount, you take South Main Street 
I headed out of town, uh, across the Mighty Pig, and come up, and the sunrise is on your right. Uh, turn right there on sunrise, and this property is just on your left. This is a maintenance-free brick ranch home. The great location there, I talked about that a little bit, but you're just minutes away from the hospital, the harvester, the post office, all those things that are right there nestled into Rocky Mount. On the entry level of this home, you've got three bedrooms. You've got a nice updated tile bath that we're going to show you. You've got a living room, family room, sunroom, as well as a kitchen and island. Downstairs, we've got an additional room there, rec room potentially. Uh, another tile shower, a craft room, some storage down there. So we'll step inside, and give you a chance to see some of uh, the storage buildings here on the outside of the home. So that's on 0.36 acres. And, uh, here's inside the kitchen. And a nice island there. This home was on the market just a few days as well. Um, Showed very well. Nice level lot there as you can see the uh, single car garage here around on the back side of the home but this would be sunrise road in rocky mount so next we'll travel to the city of roanoke steve showed you a con condo there in roanoke county and we frequently work with buyers and sellers in areas outside of franklin county and you know very fortunate to lift this, list this home here on maiden lane which is not far from the Grandin Theater, so on the corner of Maiden and Edgewood, have, has a very usable yard. It's fenced in the back and has a, it's very usable. Trampolines back there, basketball goal. It's good for outdoor entertaining, really nice deck and enclosed sunroom we'll show you. A lot of updates to this home. You step inside the entry level, you're gonna find 915 square feet on the entry level. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. This is one of the Big updates here, this is off the kitchen. A nice enclosed sunroom they use as a dining area. Again, it's a three bedroom, two bath home. In addition to the 915 square feet on the entry, there's 740 on the upper with a very large bedroom. About 390 in the lower level, bringing your total finished square footage to 2037. As I mentioned, in addition to the great location, the gas furnace and central air were replaced last year. Other seller updates include the sunroom we showed you, it uses a dining room and a deck addition, update appliances, bathroom and front porch. Other updates include roof, windows and plumbing, has wood floors in the home. So as I mentioned, it has a really nice usable yard and good for outdoor entertaining. In addition to the deck, you have this nice enclosed screen porch area. There's a television in here you can see there with a ceiling fan. So maybe if you want to enjoy this summer that we're having and not have the heat beat on you, you can sit out there with that ceiling fan and relax. Here's a good view of the backyard. Had a lot of showings on this home. Again, it's in the city of Roanoke in the Raleigh Court area on the corner of Maiden and Edgewood. I'll be happy to give you more details about this home in the city of Roanoke. Next, we're going to travel up the Callaway Road, almost towards the Blue Ridge Parkway. If you take Callaway Road to the end, you end up near Bent Mountain or on top. That's where you found this very unique property. Built in 1940, 1,344 square feet, 1,300 on the entry level. Formerly Adney Gap Brethren Church. Very unique property. This is a real popular area of our county. A lot of people. Um, like this area of Callaway, some really good views, extremely secluded, not that far from the Cave Spring area of, of Roanoke, obviously you're near the Blue Ridge Parkway, so it's some really nice properties in this general area. Again, good views and very private. As you can see, there's been a lot of updates to this property. Really like this recessed lighting and updated kitchen and appliances. So again, this home is, has a Callaway address, real close to where Callaway Road runs into 221. We're going to head back to Roanoke now, Bob, and this is a Stanley Avenue Southeast. This is, uh, so I take South Jefferson Street to 24th Street, and then uh, Stanley Avenue, it'll get you to Stanley Avenue, and this home 
is there, and there's a great location there in the heart of South Roanoke. You've got uh, a little over 3,000 square feet here in this home on Stanley Avenue. Uh, when you look at thinking about uh, the curb appeal, this home has, from a landscaping standpoint, things have been meticulously looked after and taken care of. A really nice level yard. You've got a uh, freshly painted uh, exterior here. And updates on the inside include complete electrical updates as well as new central air in 2023. Uh, gas boiler was updated in 2021. When you step inside, man, step inside, you're going to get uh, be pleasantly greeted with some really nice hardwood floors. Got some fresh paint. It's a nice area here, little kitchen or office area. There's a kitchen, dining room area. A nice island. As you can see those stainless steel. appliances. Everything has been uh, expanded and modernized. Um, even an oversized sinkerator, Bob. But, uh, pretty good stuff here in this home, the entry level. As I mentioned, it's four bedrooms, four and a half baths here. Chance to see. So uh, doesn't really matter where you're at in this house, Bob, if the urge hits you, you're not too far away from the bathroom with four and a half baths. You can see the tile. Uh, really nice update here in this bathroom. Uh, tile shower, tile floors, nice countertops. Again, it's four bedrooms, four and a half baths, a little over 3,000 total square feet here in this home on Stanley Avenue. That's of course is in the heart of South Roanoke. There's a great spot to take in uh, some ball games. Baseball is heating up, Bob. Around down into the lower level. Got a nice little workshop area here. As I mentioned, the, the backyard. It's a nice level backyard here. Great place to, to hang out to, maybe when it's not so hot or Maybe find a fan or a sprinkler <laughs> this time of year. Sprinkler would be a good idea. But this is Stanley Avenue in Roanoke. Next we'll travel to Union Hall for what I think is one of the nicest areas of Smith Mountain Lake. It's near where the Blackwater River runs into Bull Run. We're close to Christmas Tree Island with great views of Smith Mountain itself. Just, in my opinion, a great area of the lake. And what you have here is a condominium built in 1985. It's a three bedroom, three full bath unit with a bedroom on the entry, upper and lower level, as well as a full bath in all three. So if you have some guests, a little privacy is you have three separate living areas. And there's great views from this property. The entry level has 968 square feet. There's this nice updated kitchen. Lower level, I'm sorry, the upper level has 484. The lower level has 550. You do have your own boat slip. But again, I think this is a uh, great section of the lake. I think one of the advantages of the condo is you're not hopefully there working all the time. You show up and have a good time and relax. I'm not surprised this went pending quickly on Nature Lane. Again, that's in the Lakestone subdivision off of Dillard's Hill. Did you take this picture, Steve? Don't, don't lie on television. Did you take this picture? It was Go Go Gadget Arm, Bob. Go okay. Go Gadget Arm. You bet. Good picture. <laughs> <laughs> Nature Lane and Union Hall. All right, so from Union Hall, we're coming back to Rocky Mount and this home here on Cromwell Avenue. We wanted to congratulate the new owners. This was a four bedroom, four bath, a nice two car garage underneath, a little over 3,600 square feet there on Cromwell. Great location here um, and on Cromwell. Uh, not far from the heart of town, just a great subdivision and a great location. Congratulations. Now we'll move to uh, a property not far from Cromwell. This is South Main Street. This is right outside of the town limits. Now if you were to head uh, on South Main Street, you, again, 
right on by the courthouse, right on out of town, across the Mighty Pig River, and this home is right on your left. But it's a totally updated, maintenance-free home. It's all one level living, three bedrooms, two full baths, a little over 1,100 total square feet here. That uh, home was on the market a little while. It is now pending, and we're hoping it's gonna close as scheduled. We'll step inside, get a chance to see this uh, kitchen area. It's a little mud room there just beyond the kitchen. You come in off the side, um, place for you to knock off all the dust and leave the shoes before you head into the house. This parquet floor here in the dining room area. But, uh, this is South Main Street in Rocky Mount. Next we'll travel to an extremely nice home in the Glade Hill area not far from Cable 12. The Webster Road left on Pine Grove and this extremely immaculate home will be on your right. We hope it closes as scheduled. <clears throat> a little over one acre surrounded by a very large uh, farm. So if, Views of the Peaks of Otter off the back. The owner has provided a four page list of updates he has done to this home. It is truly an immaculate home with 2855 square feet all on one floor. His really nice five inch maple and hickory flooring throughout. Updated kitchen. Have a rustic room here with the beams and stack stone fireplace. Has an attached one car garage and attached. I'm sorry, they attached two car garage, detached one car with a nice studio workshop in the back. Fantastic property on Pine Grove Road in Glade Hill. There's that detached garage. No, I did not take that picture. I was getting ready to ask. But thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I'd pass out if I took that picture, Steve. <laughs> really nice property. Yes, sir, it is a great property. And here's another nice property on Union Road in Farrell. That's on 0.36 acres. You are right in the downtown, uptown Farum here on Union Road for this three bedroom, two and a half bath, a little over a thousand square feet home here. This home has been remodeled. You know, when I talk about um, remodel, Bob, this home has, there's a lot been done to it. You've got a new heat pump, You've got new LED lighting, new paint, you've got new flooring on the entry level, you've got carpet in the bedrooms that's new, you've got a completely updated kitchen with cabinetry and countertops, refrigerator, I mean, just lots and lots of updates here on this home in Union Road. And you know, Union Road, you're, you're, you can be the 77, you can be at the bank, you could be at, there's, it's just a great location here. So we're gonna, Step inside, get a chance to show you some of those updates. Here you can see those, <clears throat> that flooring, the butcher block countertops, the new appliances there. And you can see the new paint here we talked about. This is three bedrooms, two and a half baths. You've got a bedroom, primary bedroom on the entry, and then upstairs you've got an additional two bedrooms upstairs. Shot there. You come around down outside, it's 0.36 acres. You've got uh, plenty of space here for a nice garden. I, I mean, you build a garage workshop here. You've got a little creek there runs along the side. Just a great location. A lot of things to talk about here. Union Road in Farum. We're gonna, Bob from Farum, we're gonna head to Bedford now. I don't think we've talked much about anything in Bedford so far, but uh, we are fortunate in that we uh, have the opportunity to represent buyers and sellers in multiple locations. And this home here on West Beaver Dam Court, it's in Goodview, which is in Bedford County. It's in the Hemlock Shore subdivision. So, um, well, we'll get to talking about some of the cool features of this home. But first, we gotta look at this picture and see a rocking chair front porch on the front side of the home. And guess what, Bob? Yes, there is one on the back side. Great, great feature of this home here on Beaver Dam Court. Four bedrooms, two full baths, 3,432 total square feet. It does have a full walkout basement. There's those rocking chair front porch porches that I talked about on the back and the front. Come around inside, you get a chance to see 
those granite countertops, the stainless steel appliances, the tile flooring in the kitchen. You've got hardwood floors here throughout. Look at those cabinets. Laundry is on the entry level. You've got a nice open area here, dining room, living room, and kitchen, all right there together. This is the primary bedroom on the entry level. It's a primary bath. I mentioned there's four bedrooms, so we've got several bedrooms to take a look at. Nice little workstation there is one of the additional bathrooms. There's another shot of that rocking chair front porch. We come downstairs, shot of an additional bedroom down there. Rec room area, craft room, all kinds of opportunities down here on the lower level. Of course, you got a nice dry patio there under that rocking chair front porch on the back. Does have a single car garage here on the lower level as well. Great place for you to store lawnmower, kayaks, canoes. Here's a nice detached two car garage for additional storage. Of course, you can get the, get the cars in there. Got a great fire pit here right on, situated right on Beaver Creek. So you can sit out there and listen to the birds sing and the creek just flow on by. Nice greenhouse as well. You get a chance to see kind of how this is located. You got the garage here to your left, greenhouse, fire pit, Beaver Creek right in front, and the home is on your right there. But uh, just a, a really nice spot here on Beaver Dam Court, which is in Goodview, which is in Bedford County, and the Hemlock Shores subdivision. But, uh, Great spot here to hang out, especially on some of these hot days when you wouldn't have to go very far before you could cool off there. Beaver Dam Court in good view. As we travel a little south of Rocky Mount, this home on Verza Good Highway. Rocky Mount address, but very close to the Henry area of our county in Philpot Lake. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. It shows very well, 1,461 square feet. There's two primary bedrooms meaning they have a full bath only accessible through the bedroom. Lots of privacy for your guest. There's a heat pump to heat it and cool it. And very close to Philpot Lake. Very usable one acre lot. Back of the home has a nice detached building and two 24 by 40 metal garages. Obviously this one has power, lots of insulation, concrete floor. Here's the other ones, a lot of value in those two metal buildings. Good location, 220 south of Rocky Mount. Next we'll travel to this home between Rocky Mount and Ferrum on your right, going towards Ferrum from Rocky Mount. Extensive list of updates, including new heat pumps, a new septic system, other recent updates include roof, and windows, entire interior and exterior has been painted, all new flooring and lighting, be hard pressed to find a home with this amount of updates in this price range. It's just a four bedroom, one bath home. You can enjoy one level of living. It is a full bedroom, I'm sorry, a full bath, two bedrooms on the entry level. Obviously a stacked washer dryer there in the kitchen. Notice new countertops and updated cabinetry. It has new heat pumps as well. Mini splits, you can see the updated floor in this picture. There's 1,065 square feet on the entry. 310 up, bringing your total square footage to 1375. Also, there's a new survey of the property. So, again, hopefully, these pictures are showing you the extensive number of updates that have been done to this home. Be glad to show it to you. Again, it's very close to Ferrum College and not far from Wade Park. I think Jamie says we're about out of time here, Steve, so maybe we'll wrap up our first summer show of Mountains Lake Realty Showcase. Thank you all for watching. Take care.